All right, teachers, what we're going to do next today is take a look at how to create a test in ClassKick. This is what some campuses are using for their six weeks testing and their oral testing accommodations. It is a great strategy that I really recommend. We're going to use ClassKick. So we are going to get to ClassKick through our ClassLink portal. I'm going to hit skip. I'm going to sign in with Google. So we are going to create this test from a PDF file that we already have, a test that we comes from a where or any other place that we've made it, and we have it as a PDF. So we're going to hit the green plus sign in the top right corner and then click Create from File. And then we're going to pick our PDF up here and hit Open. Okay, so this short example test that I made only has two pages on it. So we're just going to hit Select All, and we're going to import all those pages and hit Finish. And this is going to create our new test for us. Here on our second page where our test questions are, what we're going to do first is we are going to add our recording of the question. So I'm going to hit the Add Audio button here to access the microphone. And then we're going to hit Start Recording. And then we're going to record our question and our answer choices for question number one. Question number one, what type of truck is red and can put out fires? A, an Amazon delivery truck, B, an ice cream truck, C, a fuel tanker, or D, a fire truck. We hit stop, and that's going to throw the little recording box, play box over here for us, and we can just drag this over here and put it next to our question. Go ahead and add the answer box now as well, because assigning this in ClassKick allows us to add a multiple choice box, which we can put D as the correct answer, and we know there's four questions on this test, so we're going to make it worth 25 points and we're going to put our answer box there as well. So now we have a oral reading of the question and answer choices and we also have a digital way to answer the test with a multiple choice answer box. Notice that the answer box does have uh, A, B, C, D, and E on it. There is no way to remove any of those and make it any smaller. Uh, you want to make sure when you are making your tests in AWARE that you are not rotating the answer choices between A, B, C, D, and FGHJ because this again is not manipulatable. Uh, it's going to be A, B, C, D, E in class kick always. So I'm going to record question number two. I'm going to hit the add audio button and then the green start recording. Question number two, what kind of vehicle would you use to travel from Texas to Scotland? A, a steam train, B, an airplane, C, a John boat, or D, a bicycle? Hit and stop there and I get my recording. I can click it and drag it over here next to my question. And I'm also going to add my answer box, correct answer being B. Going to make sure I give it 25 points. Hit save. And I'm going to put my answer box over here by my question. All right. So I will speed this up here so you don't have to sit through me doing all those questions. And then we'll take a look at the next step. All right, so we've got our test that we made, and I want you to notice that it did put each page of the PDF on its own separate slide. I didn't mention that at the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to go assign this to our Google Classroom. And one thing that's very important here is we want to make sure that we do not have the grades thing checked. If we have the grades checked, it's going to tell them when they answer the question whether or not they got it right or wrong. Assign our test. We're just going to go over here to where the class code is, and it's got a little Google Classroom button right there. So we can click that, take a look at how we can share our test with other teachers now that we're done with it. Maybe we want to share it with everybody in our department. So we are going to find our test up here, EdTech third six weeks test. And we're going to hit the little arrow button here from the uh, main home dashboard page. And I'm going to share a copy with colleagues. So I have two options here. What I can do is type in their individual email addresses, or I can just get a link to share it. So I can go to the link tab, press copy link, and now I can copy and paste that link into an email.